In this video, I'm going to list six different ways that you can make money online playing video games. Each of these ways, you can make $100 per day standalone, but if you combine these, you can actually make $200, $300 per day or more. So be sure to watch this entire video as I show you how to get started step by step. For the best tips and tricks to learn affiliate marketing and internet entrepreneurship, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you're notified when I upload a brand new video. Also click the first link in the description or go to allstingodbolt.com forward slash start for my number one recommended way to start a full-time income online. Hello, my name is Alston with allstingodbolt.com. I'm an affiliate marketer and internet entrepreneur who has helped thousands of people across multiple platforms make passive income with affiliate marketing and today I want to help you. All right, so as I mentioned, I am going to list off six different ways that you can make money online simply playing video games. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, number one, you can actually stream on Twitch. Now, as you know, Twitch has an affiliate program, has a partner program, where if you're creating content over there, you can actually get paid when ads and people actually will give you money right on the site. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you are consistent and you actually stay within your niche. Now, that's gonna be really important. Pick a game or two and play those games. When you start building an audience, they're coming A, because they wanna see you play that game, and B, they're coming because of your personality and who you are. So make sure that you pick one or two games, three at the most, where you just consistently upload content. So it's very important that you upload consistently, you pick a niche, and that you be at least a little bit entertaining. There are millions of YouTube channels and, and Twitch streams where people are just monotone and boring and playing video games, but you need to stand out and be a little bit different. So that's number one. Number two is with the YouTube partner program now just like twitch you can get paid by youtube if you have ads that run in the beginning middle and end of your videos again it's very important when you get started with youtube that you are entertaining you let your personality show and you stay with one or two games oftentimes and this is verifiable if you look at any uh, video game channel when you start straying when you start playing different games so let's say you start off playing battlefield the next thing you know you're playing mlb 21 when you jump over to MLB 21, that's going to be a different niche or category of people, and they're not going to be as interested. If you can create a fan base where you, you are just playing one or two games, maybe they're in the same genre, maybe they're first person shooters, you can build a fan base and a following, and then eventually you can niche up. Now, it's important when you niche down that you focus on individual components of a video game. For example, if you are, let's say you're a gamer that plays The Division or Division 2, you wanna make sure that you're focusing on the Bullet King or how to farm a, a, a checkpoint or you know actually doing tasks because people are gonna come to your channel because they wanna learn how to beat a certain level how to how, how to defeat rogue agents and so it's gonna be very important that you pick a topic and you niche down as i mentioned what you want to do is don't just create content of you running around on uh, on different levels you want to make sure that you are addressing a problem what are some gamers struggling with what what problem can you help them overcome? When you can do that, you're actually gonna build a following relatively easy. It's the people that just go and they stream their gameplay where they're running around up and down the streets of DC, let's say, and they they wonder why they're not growing. That's because you're not helping someone solve a problem. Now you have to remember that when you're creating content, people don't care about you. They care about the problem that you can solve. Now, if you can show them how to defeat a level, how to defeat a boss, they're going to eventually know, like, and trust you. So make sure that you niche down and uh, other, so suggestions that I have for you is you can do let's play but don't make it your sole channel um, content you want to integrate some let's play you can also do vintage games vintage games are making a comeback and people love to build a community around games of yesteryear so you can see people are playing video games around the old Mario um, Crash Bandicoot some of those older games like that so number one is join the YouTube partner program but make sure that you niche down number two is to sell digital products now when I'm thinking about digital products I'm thinking about those little walkthroughs now if you've ever gone to GameStop or Target below the the video game stand where those thick maybe 200 page documents with walkthroughs you know they walked you through different levels they walked you through different maps you can create something similar and you can either sell that as maybe like a video walkthrough you can create a digital product where they download it it can be an ebook a pdf whatever it is but if you price that at let's say 9.99 People are going to buy it because again you're building a community and you've shown that you've had the ability to solve their problem you can also create ebooks you can create an audio guide they can listen to you as you walk them through a different checkpoint or you know maybe some easter eggs that are are located throughout the map 
but selling digital products is a very good opportunity because you keep 100% of their profit minus taxes and any processing fees. And you can make money 24 hours a day, seven days a week in your sleep. And it's a really good opportunity. So after selling digital products is affiliate marketing. Now affiliate marketing is simply recommending or selling other people's products and services. When you recommend or sell other people's products and services, you get paid a commission. And there is a huge market for affiliate products in the video game niche. In addition to selling video games and consoles, you can also sell accessories. So for example, maybe uh, the special controllers, maybe special um, hard drives that work uh, best for PlayStation or Xbox. In addition, you can sell furniture, uh, special gaming chairs, or you can recommend you can recommend desktops and maybe TV stands. There's a lot of things that you can recommend right in the affiliate marketing slash video game niche. You don't have to go straight too far in order to um, start making very good commissions in affiliate marketing. Again, you can you can recommend PC parts if you're a PC gamer, uh, gaming chairs, different furniture, maybe beanbag chairs that people still sit on those, but those are all different things that you can make a commission on. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your affiliate links in the description of all of your videos. And when people click on those links and buy the product, that's when you get paid a commission. Now, most gamers will use a website like Amazon. You can use Best Buy, you can use Newegg, you can use, uh, there's a ton of them out there. Um, search video game affiliate programs and Google and you should be able to find some. All right, so here's a quick search I did when I typed in video game affiliate and you just I enter in program here. And as you can see, there are tons of sites that are designed to help you. Uh, you can see their site here has 27 best gaming affiliate programs. Uh, like I said, you can join Newegg and some of those other places, but there are tons of opportunity. Don't feel like you have to use Amazon or Best Buy or Newegg or some of those places out there. Do a little bit of research and you'll be able to find programs that will actually pay you a little bit more. In addition, if you bring over a bunch of people to those affiliate programs, they may be in a position to pay you a little bit higher commission than what you initially signed up for. But do a little bit of research and you can start making passive income with affiliate marketing. After affiliate marketing is you can actually create a, a fan page over on Patreon. Now, believe it or not, if you once you build a following, people are going to be more willing to go wherever you go. The cool thing with Patreon is you can offer exclusive content. So maybe you have your normal gameplay over on YouTube or, or, or Twitch, and then you can offer more premium hands-on in-depth content over on Patreon. Another thing that you could do is you could actually uh, stream with people and play with them and go through it step by step. Now, you're going to be surprised about how many people are going to be willing to do this because you built a community, you built a fan base and people will pay you reoccurring every single month just to be a part of your fan base or be a part of your community. And again, it doesn't have to be something that's daily. It can be a few times a week. It can be a meetup type of thing, a, a virtual meetup where you talk about the process of a game or playing a game, your mindset. And again, once you start building that following, there's going to be more people that come along. And the sixth and final way is actually with email marketing. Now with email marketing, the cool thing is, is you can do everything that I mentioned above. Now, the reason why I mentioned email marketing as separate because email marketing is separate and it enables you to make very good money in a variety of ways. You can send them emails reminding them that you're streaming live tonight. You can send them an email when you upload a new video. You can send them an email when you've created a new digital product and when you recommend a different product or service. Email marketing is a very great way to grow your business exponentially and it's relatively easy. You simply work with a web or landing page builder. I like ClickFunnels and GetResponse. You put a link to your landing page in the description of your videos and you tell them to click the link to join your newsletter and you email them whenever you have some new information. You can email them once again about new channel uploads, about new products that you see hitting the market. Uh, one cool thing that I saw happening recently was actually happening over on Twitter. Now, what these guys did is they actually had bots set up that they'd created over on Twitch, and whenever new gaming consoles became available, they would actually send a message out to all of their followers over on Twitter. And those actually were affiliate links. So people would click on those links and buy the product, let's say from GameStop, and the, the owners of the Twitter account would actually get paid a commission. So there is a number of ways to make money within the video game niche. Now that you know the six different ways to make passive income playing video games, Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start for my number one recommended way to start a full-time income online. When you click that first link in the description, it'll take you to a free training where you'll learn how to get started step by step. Click that first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. Watch these videos next to learn more tips and tricks to make money online.
with affiliate marketing. Also check out my website, alstingodbolt.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online with affiliate marketing and internet entrepreneurship. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.